Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 sequestration modeling. And today we will use T Navigator software to model the CO2 injection, CO2 sequestration. Okay, in previous part, we have discussed about this one. So if I open files and then to show you the master data or the data set, we have talk about all the keywords and the data here. If I'm not mistaken, down to grid ops and CO2 sol, which is a very, very important keyword for our operation. This is to enable CO2 dissolution in the brine. And we reach unif out, which is to save calculation results. Okay. And now I'm going to show you the grid, the properties, and the regioning solution and then schedule hopefully okay so for the grid section or maybe okay so if we open grid here so as you can see we have several grids like ECNAM, MOT, PV, NTG, PERM X, PERM Y, PERM Z and PORO actually there's no special grids in this you know in this model so if I show you, this is for block X, along X, along Y, and along Z. This is for the depth, tops, net to gross. Okay. And then this is grid for the porosity. So basically the distribution of all these initial properties like porosity, permeability in X, Y, and Z are taken from this data here okay all right so that's about it and this is standard pore volume and we have also aquifer support in this in this model we will use carter tracy okay and the calculated properties like if you open this is the distribution for pressure, saturation of oil, so no oil here in our model. Water, everything is water, so basically it's an aquifer model. No gas, okay? And then, all right, this is one divided by formation volume factor, Nothing so special. Mass density of water, no for oil, no for gas, molar density of water. Okay. So basically, this is the density of water. Okay. And later, if you inject CO2 and the CO2 will be dissolved into the water, the mass density will be changed. And then this is the data for relative permeability of water, oil zero, Gas zero, everything will be water. And we are currently using, you know, compositional modeling. If I'm not mistaken, we use compositional modeling so we can trace the component here calculated. We have component water and component CO2. Of course, we will use compositional modeling because we want to track also each of the component in this case, especially CO2. Okay, and then regioning, we have PVT region, only one. Saturation regions, we have two regions at the upper section and the bottom section, but it's actually not the main issue here. Rock compaction, only one. Equation of state region, only one. Equilibration region, only one, right? The regionization is not the main issue here. Endpoint scaling, okay. And then FIPNAM only one, active grid blocks only one. Okay, and you can skip the interblocks flow and then factor fields and then user cut still empty here, will not be used maybe, user map also. Okay, and then, so that's it for the grid properties. And then graphs later, water flood, no fluid properties this is important 